So today I want to talk to you about the importance of closing loops or the danger of open loops, really. And I'm going to talk to you why they are why they're dangerous, why they can be really problematic for your organization and for you as an individual. And I'm going to give you a little trick from hypnosis and my background in neuroscience to help you as an individual and you as an organization to run where there's no more open loops. So let's talk about what's an open loop then. So you've got the board meeting Friday. You say to Sarah, hey, Sarah, can you make sure that Pradeep's got everything he needs for the board meeting? And she's like, yeah, no problem, boss. I'm on it. I'm going to go and do that. And off Sarah goes. This is Tuesday. You don't hear anything Wednesday. You don't hear anything Thursday. You think, well, okay. Maybe Pradeep doesn't need anything from me. And then you have that annoying feeling. Maybe it's 2 a.m. Thursday morning because these things always catch up with us then, these open loops. Well, maybe Pradeep did need something from me. Maybe I, he just didn't get that message. Maybe Sarah didn't send that message on to him. And that can be problematic because obviously it's woken you up at 3 a.m., but it's rolling around in your head. And all of these open loops, they take effort. They take cognitive load. They take mental agility for you to keep them in your head. You know, I, you know, I must remember tomorrow to catch up with Sarah to check that she did that thing, right? Constantly checking up on what's going on. Open loops can cause you real problems. And as an organization, if you've got many open loops, the chances are the rest of your organization has them too. And that can be problematic for everybody. Again, you're not operating on the, under your full potential because there's a little part of all of your brains worrying about closed, worrying about all these open loops. Great organizations close loops. So how do you do it, right? How do you do it? Well, I mean, you start by saying that to Sarah. Hey, Sarah, can you check with Pradeep that um, he has everything he needs for the board meeting on Friday and if there's anything else to let me know? And can you close the loop on that, please? And the first time she might say, what do you mean by that, boss? And you say, well, can you let me get back to me to say yes or no, right? Effectively, if he doesn't, let me know. But no problem, boss. Okay? And then you keep doing that. You do that and you do that and you do that and you do that. You keep closing loops. You keep asking the questions. Can, I, can we close the loop on this? At the end of every meeting you're in, can we close the loop on this particular element we've talked about here? Maybe it's the Q4 strategy. Can we close the loop on when this is going to be done? Can we close the loop on those talks with our partner over here? How do we close the loop on that? You're constantly asking the question this throughout the organization about doing this. And the trick here then, which comes from neuroscience and a bit of stage, stage magic, is that that activates a little part of everybody's brain called the reticular, reticular cortex. And the reticular cortex is a fantastic little bit of your brain. So if you've had this experience where maybe a friend's got an unusual car, like a Subaru or a Mazda or something that's a bit more a bit unusual. And they show you this car and you're like, well, that's a nice car. I like that car. And then over the course of the next few weeks, you just seem to see these cars everywhere. You've never noticed them before, never seen them before, but suddenly they're everywhere. That's the back of your part of the brain at the, back, at the back of your head called the reticular cortex activating, right? It's priming you to be able to see that car when you see that again. Now, what can happen when you start to say things like, can we close the loop on this? Can we close the loop on this? How do we close the loop on this? Is you're constantly saying this to your team and to yourself is that loops get closed. Other people start to notice open loops and say the same thing as well. Suddenly open loops appear everywhere and you suddenly are starting to close them. People are noticing them, you're noticing them, you know how to close a loop. And before you know it, you'll be in a meeting somewhere and everybody will be doing this on your behalf. They'll be talking like you are. They'll be saying things, can we close the loop on this? Can we do that? And do you know what? You're going to sleep better because of it. That's the best thing about closing loops is you get to sleep better. Now, if you enjoyed this and you're wondering what more can I get from Mr. Joe on this stuff, you're really going to enjoy my video on laying the tracks versus running the trains. Thank you very much for your time. And yes, yes, I am on the beach and believe it or not, it's snowy. Thank you very much for your time and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.